folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Thanks for checking out this video on uh, repairing uh, foam hinges. Uh, this airplane in particular is a FMS um, a BF109, and it ended up doing a cartwheel on the runway, um, literally rolled end over end, and the plane pretty much was fine, uh, with the exception of uh, this elevator that uh, just got torn off. Now, this can happen, uh, you know, with a bad takeoff or landing or a crash or or you can just be putting this thing in your car and you could snag the elevator or rudder and just tear one of these off or an aileron or something. Um, and uh, you can see it, uh, it, come, it uh, just kind of kind of comes off in sort of a, a jagged uh, form. But uh, I see a lot of guys uh, overcomplicating uh, this repair and it's really a very, very simple fix. Um, uh, I've seen um, uh, guys pull out CA hinges to fix this with and all sorts of things. Um, but but it's uh, it's as simple as really just sort of gluing it back. Um, uh, what you want to use uh, to glue this thing back together is some of this welder glue. You can pick this up at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just a, a sort of a professional strength uh, contact cement, and it's safe on most foams. But you will want to test it on what you're using. Uh, I've been I've been gluing these FMS airplanes together with the CPO foam and uh, and with with welder glue and specifically I've been using it on hinges and it's worked out real well. Uh, in this particular case um, it was pretty much a clean break um, uh, and uh, you can see here it fits together really well. Uh, it goes together pretty much like a jigsaw puzzle and you see you can see I hold it up here like this and it's, it's like it goes together like a game of Tetris. It fits in there perfectly. So uh, and again I see guys over complicating this with needing to you pull out CA hinges and all sorts of uh, plastic hinges and you can go that route if you want to but uh, I've repaired this so many times with welder glue and fl or uh, these kinds of hinges with welder glue over and over again uh, it really just restores it back to its original uh, um, um, strength in fact it's probably a little stronger. Uh, the welder glue uh, makes a real strong bond but it also stays kind of flexible uh, and it's a real good way to do this. Now, um, uh, it does glue pretty quickly, and what you're going to want to do is have some sort of a strap uh, to wrap around this to hold it in position as it dries. What I like to do, um, uh, just to make things a little easier, is I'll actually use the other side. You can use this side to make a strap, uh, but I like to use the other side um, uh, as, a, as, a, as a guide because uh, both halves are already glued together. Uh, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about by making a, a strap for the other side that we can use on this side. Here's a look at the other side of the elevator and uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to make the strap that we're going to actually use on the other side. Just a quick and easy way to do it. You want to have some, uh, some low uh, adhesion painters type tape and you're just going to cut a length that's a little bit more than the cord line uh, of the center part or whichever part maybe uh, is not uh, kind of contacting well but usually you only need one here in the center. Uh, but you can see I, I cut one piece off here I'm going to take a second piece uh, and make it about the same length. And uh, here's what we're going to do with this stuff. We're going to take it just the way you see it. We're not going to stick it to the airplane, but we're literally going to wrap it around just the way you see this here. And uh, I don't want this stuff to stick to the side of the airplane uh, because if I do, um, it's going to take the paint off. So you sort of want to be very careful. But by using the back side of the tape only, you can see here that... Uh, I'll bond the back half on first and then I'll take the front part and wrap the front part right around the leading edge trying to get it as, as flat as I can. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be able to slide this on. And now you can see I have a, a strap that's going to pretty evenly hold this thing in position. And now I can just slide it off this side, slide it back on and it acts as a nice sort of a bonding strap to keep this thing in place. Now I'm going to take it off and I'm going to go ahead and use it on the other side. Now we're back to the other side again and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out my uh, positioning strap here. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, you know put the, uh, the uh, elevator back on and really carefully I'm going to take this, uh, this strap. Actually let me go ahead and kind of slide this on first. Um, we'll get it in position where we want it and then we'll just kind of slide this thing on. And you can see it does a real good job of holding this thing right where we want it. And uh, voila, it's in position. Now all we really need to do is add the glue and uh, slide the strap on and let it dry. You can apply the glue any way you want, but it's really uh, just this simple. 
uh, you have pretty much a good pointy tip on on this uh, on the tip of the welder applicator here. So uh, really, all you have to do is just very carefully uh, just start squeezing out the glue and just sort of run it along here. Uh, it's not a bad idea if you have a thin paintbrush to sort of run over it with a paintbrush, a very thin uh, uh, a thin tip paintbrush. And, uh, and just sort of smooth it out as you get it on here. But really all you have to do is just, uh, just apply it this way. Now what I did is after applying the glue, um, I just kind of took a paintbrush and uh, one that's at least thin uh, in one direction, but I don't have any smaller ones in this one, but uh, this gets the job done. And you just go to sort of spread it along those exposed areas of foam. And uh, once you have it, uh, have it uh, all on there where you need it, where the contact areas are, uh, you go ahead and just uh, really just put everything together the way you did. Uh, get your strap on there, and uh, go ahead and uh, just put your uh, put your uh, your uh, uh, surface right back on uh, the way we saw it in the beginning, and just sort of slide it on there. And you can see that it uh, fits just the way we had it before. And you're pretty much just going to leave it there and let it dry. But what you want to do beforehand, before you let it completely dry is uh, just go ahead and take, uh, take your paintbrush or whatever you have. You can even use a paper towel or whatever you need to run down here. And you may even want to apply a little more glue on there. Um, and just sort of run down the, uh, the channel here and thin it out. And the reason you're doing this is you don't want there to be, and you're going to do this on the bottom side too, uh, you don't want there to be any big bulges of glue sticking out. So uh, in some instances, like if you don't see enough glue on there, you can just put a little bit more on here, okay? and uh, very carefully uh, just sort of stick it down in there and uh, just sort of rub it, rub it over the, uh, the, uh, the hinge area there. And what that's going to do is it's going to put sort of like a coating of glue over it because the glue is actually uh, what is now going to become the hinge. And, uh, and also, again, some areas that you might have missed just by putting a little bit of glue in there and sort of rubbing it and coating the whole hinge with it, you're going to get a nice um, uh, sort of outer shell of glue over there, and uh, it's going to make for a very, very nice hinge. Again, you want to do this to the bottom side, uh, just very lightly, and uh, I'm done. Uh, you just go ahead and let it dry uh, for uh, a little bit, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, take the, um, the strap off, and you'll be good to go. Now, after about five or ten minutes of this, uh, this is going to be pretty much fixed into place, so you can pretty much slide the strap off and also uh, go underneath this area uh, with your paintbrush, just so you have a nice uh, uh, thin area. And again, you don't want a big bulge of glue there because that might make, uh, uh, make it tougher for the hinge to, to, to move too much. You just want sort of a thin layer. After letting uh, the hinge uh, dry overnight, this thing is done. All you need to do is just remove your, uh, your uh, tape strap and uh, go ahead and work in your hinge a little bit. It's going to be stiff to start with, so you want to play with it a little bit, but otherwise you're good to go. All you need to do is reconnect your linkage underneath, uh, your clevis to your horn, and you are ready to fly. I've made this repair on numerous airplanes, and uh, I've found the hinge to be actually stronger uh, than the original. Uh, now, you can use the welder glue for really any uh, hinge repairs, elevator, rudder, flaps, ailerons, and it's good to revise it. You want to keep your eye on your newly glued hinge after a few flights. Just kind of look at it, make sure it's holding up okay and you glued it well, and uh, it'll last for a long, long time. If you have a situation with a hinge like this where it's beginning to tear at one end, maybe here or maybe here, maybe they made the, uh, the foam hinge a little bit too thin uh, in the mold. Uh, and you'll need to revise it. And sometimes you can see right through it at certain segments. So just put a little bit of welder on your, uh, your, uh, your brush and uh, use the bristles to sort of push it down in there. And then uh, again, just put some more on your brush and just make a nice uh, sort of coating over the hinge. Let it dry and you're going to have a fantastic, uh, uh, nice, strong hinge. As you can tell, guys, you almost can't even tell this thing was fixed. It looks pretty much almost like it was out of the box. Anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate, wa appreciate you watching this video. Check out rcinformer.com and uh, RC Informer on Facebook. I'm trying to put uh, more, uh, more current and daily uh, pictures up uh, on the Facebook uh, channel. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.